was an idea to bring together a group of extraordinary people so that when we needed them, they could fight the battles that we never could. I'm Nick Fury, and I'm here to talk to you about the, uh, the... Crap, what's it called? <laughs> What's happening? Nick Fury here. Welcome to Avengers Week here on Comics! The Avengers is finally coming out for us here in the States and we're all excited. And Carter and I thought, what better way to celebrate than to have a video every single day? So basically, Here's the schedule. So from Monday to Friday, Carter and I are gonna be revisiting and looking back at all the previous Avengers films. And then on Saturday, we might have a free comic book day video. It really just depends. But if anything, that's what will happen on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we are gonna have our huge Avengers review and it's pushed to Sunday for a very specific reason. And it's a reason I'm sure all of you will be very excited about. So let's kick things off right away with me getting all this crap off me because I'm starting to go blind in one of my eyes. Just give me a second. <sighs> so much better. And to start off Avengers Week, I am going to be giving you guys my look back on the very first Avengers film, Iron Man. So way back in 2008, a couple of things that were going on with me. Uh, it was my last year of school, in high school, so that was cool. I turned 18, and I was getting really excited for The Dark Knight. However, little did anyone know that a little movie called Iron Man was actually going to be a movie to remember throughout the entire year. Mainly because at the time, Marvel has been producing, let's just say, less than mediocre films. So when people were seeing trailers for Iron Man, no one was going, this is going to be awesome. But boy, were we all wrong. So Iron Man follows the adventures of Mr. Tony Stark, and Tony is basically this incredible inventor, genius guy, who happens to be the epitome of rich snob. And then one day during a weapons demonstration, he's kidnapped by terrorists and basically shown the other side of his company that he had no idea even existed. Then instantly, Tony had a change of heart, figuratively and literally. So to be quite honest with you, I'd never read any Iron Man comic before I saw this movie. I'd known who the character was and I'd seen him in pictures and stuff, but I'd never really liked the suit. I just thought he looked stupid. But this, this movie definitely changed my mind. It, it was just a really great movie. The absolute best part about this movie, and I'm sure everyone will agree about this, is Robert Downey Jr. Robert made his comeback with this movie. Fun fact, by the way, Robert Downey Jr. is the first member of Saturday Night Live to become a superhero character. I'm not even kidding, Google it. He was on Saturday Night Live. The entire cast in general is amazing. Terrence Howard, Jeff Bridges, the great Jeff Bridges, Gwyneth Paltrow, everyone in this movie was fantastic. But the best thing about this was, this was a superhero movie that wasn't dark in tone. I mean, it had dark situations, but it wasn't a dark movie. Because ever since Batman Begins came out, every superhero movie has tried to match that very dark tone. And the thing is, not all superhero stories are dark. Overall, Iron Man is by far one of the best films I've seen in a long time. It's an amazing superhero movie. It's got amazing characters, amazing acting. This movie was fantastic. Anyways, that's about it for me. In the comment section below, I want you to tell me what did you think of Iron Man? Also, tell me about your memory from when you first watched the film and what was your initial reaction. Now, don't forget to like this video, follow Carter and I on Facebook, Twitter, and directorscutradioshow.com. Links down below. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, favorite the video if you want to, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with my review of Iron Man 2.